Hey guys, I'm back with a follow-up to my last video, which was on the MTH-9s. Um, in that video, I mentioned that I had a Horsehead version of Norfolk Southern and a Union Pacific on the way, and they've since arrived. So I thought I'd throw together a quick video so you guys could see those. So here are the boxes. Item number 2298-1 for the Norfolk Southern. 2309-1 for the UP. Uh, the dash ones mean that they are Proto Sound 3 equipped. So that's what we're looking at. And then, real quick, there's the UP and there's the Horsehead Norfolk Southern. So, uh, just for comparison's sake, um, let me pull the UP out, and here's the standard logo, or the as-delivered version of the Norfolk Southern. Um, a little dark, but there were a couple things I wanted to point out. One is um, differences in warning labels, so uh, I thought it was interesting that, or a good thing, I guess, that... MTH paid uh, this close of attention, but um, you'll notice up here on the Horsehead version you've got four warning labels with a fifth one down below the lettering, whereas on the, I guess the As Delivered or the standard logo, you've got four logo or four labels here, but then the fifth one is uh, just to the left of the wording. Um, and then <clears throat> over here you've got three red warning labels with two white ones on the left um, all in a pretty evenly spaced straight line but on the horsehead version you still have your three red ones but the spacing is a little different and the sizing of the white ones um, are a little different so I thought that was interesting that they bothered to uh, do that and then obviously um, You've got differences up front. So, zoom in here. So on the Horsehead one, you've got um, the area behind the number boards painted white. Um, but on the standard logo or the as delivered version, whatever you want to call it, um, that area is not painted white but the uh, number boards are lighted on both and both have front ditch lights, both have flashing front front ditch, ditch lights um, so no, no differences there. Uh, it's mostly just in the uh, the painted area around and behind the number boards so uh, it's major differences um, as for the UP version. Um, you'll notice that it has a little white uh, antenna dome specific to this one. Um, that is not on the, either one of the Norfolk Southern, so uh, road specific there, so that was good. They paid that. Paid attention to that, and then um, there's actually a different horn on the UP as compared to the Norfolk Southern. So this one's got it's got um, three three horns, whereas the both Norfolk Southerns have um, five horns. So just something to note there that they paid attention to that as well and then just for comparison's sake um, I've got let me zoom back out here so I've got an MTH ES44 UP 
and um, you'll notice, and I think it's coming through fairly clear, but the uh, the yellows are basically identical between the ES44 and the Dash 9. So um, I thought that was nice that I guess MTH is using the same paint mixture um, for both. So anyway. Back to just the UP version. Um, I'm not going to do it, put this on the uh, turntable like my other videos, but um, I will quickly uh, zoom in on some areas so you UP fans can at least see the detail. So um, there's your truck and cab detail. You've got two cab figures um, up front. You've got number, lighted number boards. Um, low headlight, two ditch lights. These ditch lights do flash. Um, so that is, I guess, consistent across all the Protosound 3 locomotives is the flashing ditch lights, whether or not it's road specific or not. So um, it works fine for the Norfolk Southern locomotives, but that's not necessarily a good thing for the UP. And um, I'm assuming the BNSF versions flash as well. So uh, just something to be aware of. Running down the side. Here's all your grading, see-through grading up here. Um, not sure why this won't focus. There we go. So, one thing I did notice is. Um, You've got, if you look at the, so on the UP version, all of these grates here are of equal height, but on the Norfolk Southern, let me get the lighting right, there we go, on the Norfolk Southern ones, all the grating is varying heights, so I am assuming that is road specific and prototypically accurate. Um, those are details that I just don't know, but um, I found that interesting that they had those differences between the models. So, um, again, just something to point out and be aware of. So, back end. There's the back end. Obviously, no ditch lights per the prototype. And the opposite side. So, there's your detail on the rear. And running down the side, and there's your, your front detail. So, anyway, there's the UP version. I have no intention of buying the flag version, so uh, don't expect any follow up video on that. This will be the only UP 9 that I will be purchasing. And then, just not that there's really any difference between this and the um, standard logo version of the Norfolk Southern Dash 9, but we'll do a quick, quick tour of this one. So here's the front end. Obviously, as I mentioned before, you got the white area around the number boards and your flashing ditch lights up front. The lighting right here. So there's your front end. And the back side. Again, you've got the rear ditch lights that do flash with the Proto Sound 3 version. Uh, so again, there's the, the grading of varying heights um, so assume I assume that's for the prototype 
and there's this side so anyway there you go uh, if you want to hear the sounds all the sounds are the same same bell same horn um, so if you want to hear those check out my other dash nine video and uh, we'll see you later thanks for watching bye